some people they don't um, in the end become a registered architect but they are still doing well in other career options in the architect field um, can you share with us you know what other options that you can do architect is a very wide range of uh, career opportunity we are having a quite a lot of opportunity there uh, the reason being very simple because architect when you train yourself as an architect you must train yourself from the very basic to the top A to Z kind of things so you are you, you know how to handle people you hold, you know you have a very creative mind okay and then you have you have to know how to so-called manage certain thing, management. Okay, so in, in, in that sense, you can actually basically work from any field. What this is my personal opinion. And then, uh, like if you are graduating as an architect, of course, like uh, Damon said just now, then uh, even you are a registered architect, not categorize yourself. You must become an architect too. You can be the businessman if you would like to in the development, okay, in the designing construction because you have to handle all the people. Just imagine if you are handling one major project, you basically have to handle in a meeting at least 20 persons. So from the 20 persons in that room, you have a multi-discipline of business in that room itself. Means from the consulting, from the developer, okay, from the suppliers, construction, so those are the, the major aspect, so-called category of business in the society. So it's not just about drawing something. No, 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 no. It's more than more than that. What you can expect from you can run, you can so-called design your own cafeteria, and then do a business in the F and B, <laughs> and relax your life. And, and I then, know some yeah. do sales. They are selling yeah. building materials. Yeah, that is a very good business aspect actually. A lot of friends of mine actually in the business of those things. And then they are selling very good in goods, supplying to the construction company, developers. Even if you are very good in model, you like to do modeling, you can set up your own modeling company. And then th th there will be a very good aspect also. So not necessary, just limit yourself, I must become an architect, not necessary. Right now, Alpha is offering a three days, two night educational trip to all the students who sign up for our uh, coming intake. Um, that's the reason, uh, one reason is because we feel that it is good for students to be exposed to different places. The reason being, you, you need to go outside and see. Like Damon uh, and, and Charles, actually, I believe they graduated from, from overseas also after the diploma. Utah. Uh, Utah so that, and Daniel is going ahead to overseas also. They have the chance actually to look outside the world. The reason being, in Malaysia, we are in tropical country. So in the building setting, it's actually more to the tropical setting architecture. Okay, we call it as tropical architecture. Okay, and then if you go overseas, different climates, different culture, you have to look at the different building types. Okay, so that is the re that, that is the point that you have to see outside world because actually it cannot be like uh, what kata bawah tempurong is that actually just just looking at your own world is not enough. You have to look outside. And then that's a good chance because during the three years of study, actually, you should go every every year, organize the trip actually to anywhere else. If possible, will be free. That will be back. On top of that, I will I give you one opinion. It's actually not just sightseeing tour. Yes, sir. Yes, it, it, it's actually you, you just go there and then look and look 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 and nothing out from there. <laughs> you must at least actually can train yourself with a basic. Means actually, I go there with a purpose. Why I look at this building? It must have a reason behind. You must know the history of the building. You must know how to so-called the ancient people how to build those kind of building. Because architect in the very ancient world is called master builder. Your it's not. Experience from your previous company um, help you to be prepared for to set up your own. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> As what Charles mentioned, the architecture life in in real life is very tough and especially in Malaysia. So uh, as what Jenny mentioned, I, I handle about 10 projects at once. So you you need to, actually you, your life is just working and go back sleep, that's it. So you need to travel outstation projects. So you will, you need energy, you need uh, focus. All this is, is train, train us well to become so I 
that's that you to start the passion in architecture. That's why if, when you work over time or you work into the design, it doesn't matter where you, you, the, the hour don't count anymore. And it's that, not just in architecture you have to work hard. I think in every field you have to work yeah, hard. Of course. If you yeah. look at <laughs> Dr. Yu was every call you have to attend to it, isn't it? Lawyer actually you have to find all the facts. You have to look at all the books, which I hate it. <laughs> I, I, I like to look at the pretty pictures, okay, rather than look at the pretty words. So that is me, okay. And then, I, uh, the, 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 that, that will be the, the, the fact of the works. No matter which field you are in, you must have that mentality in mind. Especially if you want to work. If you want to the, the boss like you, you must work pretty hard. Of course, boss will squeeze you to the end of the last blood. But there's a good chance for you to learn. There's a reason why you have to learn. It's not a simple life in the world. Okay, you have to learn from throughout the hard way. Actually, so but that is a very treasure experience that you got. Okay, and then you can equip yourself when you want to move out in future. Okay, and then of course actually one person handling ten projects, all those kind of things actually. That will be a good experience for you because actually from how do you handle the project you will build your own confidence level into it and then when you really want to start up your own that will be all the equipment that you got thank you i think they want to know the difference and why come to a diploma instead of going for a foundation and a degree i think my opinion like demons uh just now charles said uh, you still have the break point actually not necessarily go through the whole uh, study in architecture you can have your brick in center at the, at the middle try out, try out the, the outside world first then come back again do the work I believe what is Daniel doing now I think it's a very good way because the, the experience in the real life is more important I will feel that after a few years of studying get yourself actually go to the market for a while look at the real world and then come back again to do a study, you will refresh yourself. Like, why? after my, my personal experience, after eight years of working hard in the, in the market, actually I feel tired also. So I come out and then I try to give back and then I give lectures, okay? Give back to the student what I have learned from my past year experience. So from there, actually I equip, refresh myself, and then, okay, I seriously move into the business again. So it must have a break. Don't go and study very long, like six years, then after that, quickly work for two years, quickly go for the register architect, actually you kill yourself. But that's the Malaysian mentality, <coughs> everything must be fast, 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 cepat, cepat. Cepat, cepat, mati lo. As we're wrapping up, um, I would like you to leave a word of encouragement, uh, a message for our audience. Um, you know, how do you enjoy and be be, um, you know, successful in the architecture I think line. probably if you're really thinking of doing architecture, make sure you have the passion in it because without passion to really push you through, uh, I think it's quite impossible if you don't really love the subject itself. Because, um, like, what everyone mentioned, it's really quite a tough line to walk through. But if you really love it, I mean, it's rewarding in the end. So, have the patient before you really choose this thing. Okay, thank you. Damon, any words of encouragement for our guests? Okay, I won't say word of encouragement, but I will say the right attitude to, uh, to succeed in this subject, in this architecture. Um, you, I remember during our time, the senior, the lecturer always say architecture is architecture. So uh, you have to equip yourself really well and make sure you have a right attitude and discipline in doing all your work, studying or completing all the projects. So with that good attitude and right discipline, I don't think is a... and then that is possible, I would say. Yeah. I would say just do it. Why you would I, I, I. If, if, you, if, you, if you think this is actually a, a good way of life, in, art, in designing especially, and then you are not sure whether I'm going to the technology, uh, uh, work of life, or art, all those kind of things, I will feel that why I choose architecture, because it's sit in the middle, 
you're you're good in technology, you're good in art, combine it together, go for it. Uh, that is my own. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Please give them another big round of applause. Yeah.